Hello again. We are here in Lotus Manufacture. Just we just finished the adjusting for on channel fulling reforming machine, including all punching hole. We can see the design. Here is the machines, rollers, and punching station. Hydraulic unit. So now I'm going to introduce the total machine from input material to end. As you know, we are from Lotus, lotusforming.com. If you have any inquiry or questions, you can send an email to us. Our email is wxlotus at gmail.com. Or you can follow us and subscribe us on YouTube and get a weekly video from all performing machines. Here is the input material. We just tested by 0.5 PPGI white color. And you can see here we have an input guide. Left and right, you can adjust it. You can modify to punching modes. You can see the punching modes. With this punching, we make it all hold together. As you can see, small hole, big hole coming all from here, the base material. And here we have a servo feeding that it can be a specific length of machine coming out and the punching distance will be same. Let me show you here. From here to here, you can see, just by this servo feeding, feed into the machine and go to punching. Here is our hydraulic unit. You can see the power is 11 kW. It has a cooling fan, pressure unit, and valve. For this punching and cutting in the end of machine. Here is the gear where input for all formings. Rollers, down rollers, up rollers. Guide, left and right. Adjusting by this screw, you can see, losing, tight, you can make it in the same line as the rollers. Encoder for measuring the length, the first roller. Here we have a chain, let me show you. This machine is derived by chain. As you can see, our chain is here and it's cover, safety cover. I can put it here. The main motor and transmission also by gear is under the machine. It's a small or forming machine. We use a 7.5 kilowatt. First stations, second, step by step, you can see the angle will be changed. Up roller, down roller. I'm showing you. This is the five stations. Already we pass half of machine. The shape is somehow like a channel, foreign channel. Now you can see more depths. Here it becomes smaller, more sharp. Down roller, let me put my camera inside. You can see the down roller and up roller together. And we go to next station.
also this one. From here, we almost make the profile down by this angle and the gap between the down roller and up roller. You can check the difference between this one and this one. More sharper, more depth. Let's go to final stations, final roller, toolings, whatever you call. So up to the profile that you give us, we drive, we design each roller. How many stations the machine has, what's the shaft size, what's the machine's power stations profile everything we design according to profile and thickness and this is the final adjusting unit that will be used for twisting and elbow alignment it can move twisting by this one to twist left right up and down and by that one we can put the whole line left and right three axis adjusting available punching unit performing chain transmissions motor and here the torque head or adjusting final stations electrical cabinet and we coming to punching unit and final products yesterday we tested the galvanic 0.6 you can see profile So no matter what kind of shape you give us, how many punching it has, we can make it continuously by our foaming machine and punching units. Here is one line profile that we today produce. As you can see, it's almost four meter, two side punchings. Everything is clear, profile. Have a look, total machines for channel fouring or foaming machines. Okay, so here is the total interaction for our channel frame machines. If you have any inquiry for sailing products, U channel footing, you can do it by reforming machines. Have a nice day. Bye.